Suppose you're doing title research on a piece of property and you need to be able to plot the description given by the deed. This is a quick tutorial video on how to do that using free software available online. Okay, what we're going to do is imagine that this is your deed. This is our example. <clears throat> this is our example deed. So we scroll down to the to the first part of it, which is at the bottom of this page, and we see that the description is here in this area and that it is said to contain approximately 500 acres. There are six calls and they're in perches. Now uh, it just says P here, at P dot, P dot, and you kind of have to know that that stands for for perches or poles, but it's it's the same thing. It's 16 and a half feet. And uh, what we can do to prove that really quickly is come to unitconversion.org, and we'll see that a perch to a foot, you put in one, you get 16 and a half. If you put in a pole, it gives you the same the same thing. So, if we come to our example, we see that the first call is south, 55 degrees west, 64 poles, or per perches. And all you would do is just multiply by 16.5, <clears throat> or you can type it in here, 64. It's going to give you the answer each time, which is really convenient whenever you... Uh, need to type in your calls into track plotter because you can just go back and forth. You can type in your, your perches and convert them quickly into uh, the notation that is required on track plotter. This is what it gives you whenever you first log into track plotter. If you click submit, it shows you the, their example and it has a slight closure error it's 33.2 <clears throat> acres. And now let's look at just the first one. This is the feet. It's 2,481.345 feet. And notice that the F is capitalized, F for feet. Then we have north, 29 degrees, 41 minutes, 45 seconds west. Most of the time, and especially with your really old deeds, of course, they're not going to have minutes and seconds. Sometimes, uh, if it's really old like this, it'll have uh, a decimal for the degree. So you have to convert from uh, like the decimal degree to to minutes. Like if it was 0 0.5 degrees, like 29.5 degrees, that would be 29.30. W. Actually, you don't even need that dot right there because that's that's like saying, you know, no, and no seconds. So you can delete that and then space however many feet you want it to be, like a hundred feet that way. If you click submit, it just gives you a line with that vector. And see you can you can see it growing from there and so yeah oh, there it was like I already converted the description from our example here with the with the six calls so we can just copy oh yeah copy and paste that in there and click submit and we can see that it plots it for you. <clears throat> this program will plot it. And so if you look here, you can you can see what I was getting at. You just use S for south, W for west, E for east, and N for north. And you don't put a dot in between the degrees. So if it's N39 degrees or north 39 degrees, you just type N39 dot E, north 39 degrees east. 
and it's that simple. You have your conversion, this 2887.5, we can uh, figure out how many poles that would be if we just do it backwards. So it would just be, uh, if I can find the feet, Yeah, if you went feet to poles and then typed in 2887.5 uh, it spits back out the number of poles that, you, that we used to get it. So um, that, that was just to show you that it's consistent and you can you know you can convert anything here it's they got all kinds of stuff and so, so I would recommend using this unitconversion.org rather than just your calculator even though it's it's going to give you the same answer this is uh, has a lot more potential so and that concludes the tutorial if you guys have any questions if I left anything out or uh, it, you have a comment just put it put it down, put it in the comments section, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for